All right, guys, that time again. This is an older bag, older bag of goodies that I gotta show you. So let's see what's in the bag. I'll move my camera back a little bit. Boom, look at that stuff. Some of it is on my Instagram at, at Dashing Grin. D A S H I N G R I N. All right, so here we go. Pull the sucker out. Boom! First up, we got Batman. Oh, yeah. The Last Angel. Look at that. Boom. So we got Batman, the Last Angel. Oops, oops. The Dark Knights in the Shadows. Boom. Let's move this over here. There we go. Batman, the Dark Angel. Then we got Iron Man, Marvel's 100-page monster, the invincible Iron Man, I should say. DC Comics, Young Heroes in Japan. Another DC Comics, this is Relative Heroes, Issue 1. DC Comics, Issue 1, First Issue of 4. Black Canary, Living with Sin. Then we got Marvel Comics, Heroes Return, Collector's Item, first issue of the Fantastic Four of January 1998. Let me show you the back cover. Boom. And even more impressive. Boom, look at that. That's a nice cover. Oh, got another page. Flopping out. Twitch. You left or right. All right. So we got the Fantastic Four by Marvel. DC Comics, Black Canary. DC Comics, Relative Heroes. DC Comics, Young Heroes in Japanese. Marvel Comics, Iron, The Invincible Iron Man. And we got Batman, The Last Angel. All of these. So let's see. I got, I got one, two, three four five six i got six of those i got all those from the dollar bin which is really cool i got this dc comics of batman it is a variant cover and it is batman kings of fear a uh, variant cover for 3.99 and i also got um uh issue zero of artifact one uh, by aspen comics Got it for a uh, dollar fifty. It's a zero issue. It's actually a variant uh, cover, or it is uh, the first cover. I know there's another co cover of it. Yes, let's see, boom, right there. Thought about getting this one because they had it, but I got this one. So, so I got Batman and I got Artifact One. And I got all these uh, dollar comics right here. So this was $3.99. This was $1.50. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six more dollars. So for this week, I basically spent so six dollars, then four dollars. So I got ten dollars. So I only spent about eleven fifty, maybe twelve dollars for this comic book haul. Uh, in my other video, I have probably spent maybe $16, $17. I usually spend a good, a good, um, uh, I usually spend like a good, like 20 bucks. I think the biggest purchase was like $30. Uh, and if you've seen that video, they're all in here. I just got to get another, uh, uh, hard case. Or a um, comic book case, and I can put all my books in. So again, thanks for coming to my channel, channel guys. Oh, and I wanted to show you this. I got this some time ago. This is Dilbert Positive Attitude by Scott Adams, and I'm still enjoying the book. Uh, I got this a while ago. I think I got it from Barnes and Noble. Not really sure. And also, if you guys do not know, you guys need to get this book. I don't know if DC makes one, but Marvel made this. I got this one years ago, and there's an updated version of this, but it's without this. 
See, it's got that. So it has like, it's telling me to go to question 83. So let me go to that real quick. 83, 83. So a lot of times I would uh, quiz my friends or just myself. So here we go. What is it? 83 again. Okay. Question 83. Got A, B, C, or D. Who was Reed Richards' most serious rival for the love of Susan Storm? A, Ben Grimm. Or, sorry. Yeah, A, Ben Grimm. B, Prince Neymar. C, Tony Stark. Or D, Victor Von Doom. I'm going with D because that's who I think it is. So, just going to boom. Incorrect. It was B? It was Prince Namor. What? Definitely would not think of that. So we got 332. Oops. Mm. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 332. Definitely thought it was Victor Von Doom, really did. 332. Uh, who was the wanderer from medieval times who carried the mystical power object called the evil eye? A. Prester John. B. Uh, I, oh my gosh. Oh, I know this one. Oh, oh gosh. Um, uh, I think it, this one, I actually think it's D, but I'm also thinking it's B. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go with B. Fuck. Ah, it was A. Oh, I was way wrong. Definitely wrong. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more before we end this video. 509. All right, I got two wrong already. That sucks. Uh, one more page. Uh, 503. 503. All right, 503. Here we go. Uh, let's see, what were the occupations of Peter Parker's parents when they died? A, police officers, B, scientists, C, secret agents, D, school teachers. From uh, the cartoon, I believe it was secret agents, but I also believe it was scientists. But I'm going to go with C for secret agents. So let's press C. Going with C. Boom, finally got one right. All right, should, should, I, should I risk it and do one more? Nah, let's just keep it like this. All right, so that was comic book haul for a few weeks ago that I just recently uploaded. Hope you guys like it. Like, subscribe, comment, don't, share, dis share. I don't know. Tell me I suck. Let me know. So that was Obsessed with Marvel. Test your knowledge of Marvel Universe. 2,500 questions for one or two players. You would usually do this with... Um, Usually just my friends. It was a nice little thing to kind of get your mind working. Again, that was Dilbert, Positive Attitude. Yay, Life by Scott Adams. I enjoy the cartoon series. I hope it comes back. Uh, again, you know, this was about like $11 comics. And I think I said this is a variant copy of Batman. So if you like it, let me know. And if you've seen this movie, let me know in the comments if it's good. I'll probably watch it anyways. Death of Superman. It's a pretty... Superman Doomsday was pretty strong. So let me know, guys. All right. Like. Don't like. Subscribe. Let me know.